From bomb sniffing dogs to sneaky spy cats, here are 11 amazing armed forces animals. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Hey, Partially Broken lets us know that they like watching the videos and have never missed a single one. How about that? Hey, thank you so much for that. So good on you there. We appreciate all that great support, of course. Cheers. Number 11, bees. When provoked, angry bees can become a potent weapon. Along with other civilizations, the ancient Greeks and Romans were known to use the small insects as a way to discourage enemy troops. Attacking forces would often catapult beehives over city walls, and the inhabitants would sometimes return the favor by barraging the invading forces with hives. Angry bees were also used during castle sieges in the Middle Ages, and were also used in modern warfare through the Vietnam War. More recently, scientists have trained bees to detect landmines. Camels. Today, only a few armies use these animals for mounted patrols, but at one time, the camel calvaries flourished in various regions of the world, especially North Africa and the Middle East in ancient times. Their ability to withstand harsh climates and needing little water made them valuable assets. And while they didn't present the most fearsome sight when charging, the smell was often offensive enough to frighten enemy horses. Ancient Persians equipped their camels with elaborate armor and used them as heavy cavalry. But outside of the camel's natural range, horses were far more favored over camels as battle mounts. Through the 19th century, the development of guns severely reduced the need for camels in combat, but they did see action during World War I with Arab forces and British General T.E. Lawrence, who you might better recognize as Lawrence of Arabia. RATS. Now that is actually an acronym, R-A-T-S. It stands for Rugged Automated Training System, but it also applies to the rodents. In 2012, the U.S. Army developed this program to see how effectively the animals could locate bombs. The Army says that using the critters could offer several advantages using their intelligence, and the small size would allow them to access smaller areas that are inaccessible to larger animals and humans. Messenger pigeons. Thanks to the homing abilities and navigational skills, these birds have carried messages for humans for ages. They especially made a name for themselves during World War I when 200,000 of the animals were used by the Allied forces. One pigeon was even decorated with the French Croix de Guerre, or Cross of War, for delivering a dozen messages in the Verdun region in France. This bird was credited with saving the U.S. Lost Battalion which had been cut off by German troops. And during World War II, when Allied soldiers had to maintain radio silence on D-Day, the pigeons were still able to relay messages. Due to advances in communications technologies, though, the birds were retired from military service. Horses. Experts say that horses were first domesticated by humans around 5,500 years ago in present-day Kazakhstan. As the animals spread across Eurasia, they were soon used in large-scale warfare. The use of the horse-drawn chariot enabled ancient Egyptian and Chinese warriors to fight from a stable platform. After the invention of the saddle and stirrup, mounted warriors held a decided advantage in combat, an example being armored knights on horseback that could affect charges that could plow through and devastate formations of enemy foot soldiers. Mongols were able to fight and effectively shoot arrows while on horseback, enabling them to conquer much of the known world. The use of equines was curtailed once tanks and machine guns became staples of modern warfare, but the image of horses thundering across the battlefields still evokes a powerful symbol of conquering armies even today. Elephants of War as befits Earth's largest living land mammals, they have delivered devastating consequences for enemy forces. It's thought that the behemoths were first trained for use in warfare in ancient India, quickly spread to the Middle East. At certain times, the Romans, Greeks, and Carthaginians all made use of war elephants. In 218 BC, Hannibal famously used war elephants as his army crossed the Alps into Italy to face down the Romans. Since they could trample soldiers, 
pierce them with the trunks and carry archers and javelin throwers, it's no wonder the Pachyderms were favored in warfare. Just the sight of the enormous animals was enough to gain a psychological victory over enemies. But if they took excessive punishment, elephants could go mad with fear or pain. The role in combat was effectively ended by the introduction of cannon to the battlefield. sea lions, along with dolphins, in the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program, the known for having excellent underwater hearing, are able to swim around 25 miles per hour and are able to dive repeatedly at depths up to a thousand feet. That enables the sea lions to work as minesweepers. They've also been trained to attach a special restraining cuff on the legs of human divers or saboteurs, which allows suspects to be hauled to the surface. A harness worn by the sea lion carries cameras providing underwater video in real time, and it's said that just one of these creatures, along with two human handlers and a rubber boat, can replace a full-size naval vessel and a crew in searching the ocean floor for objects. Dolphins. The U.S. Navy has employed the use of bottlenose dolphins since the 1960s. Along with the aforementioned sea lions, the marine mammals have served to patrol the waters. Their sophisticated sonar is used to locate mines based on the concept of echolocation, an ability commonly linked with bats. In the case of dolphins, the animal sends out a series of clicks that will bounce off of objects before returning to sender so to speak. Experts say the process allows the dolphin to form a mental image of the object detected. Then the dolphin reports back to its human handler using a series of yes or no responses. Upon receiving a positive response, the handler can choose to send the dolphin back with a weighted buoy line to mark the object's location. Did you know that the dolphin's abilities were used to help clear ports during both the Persian Gulf War and the Iraq War? Despite rumors to the contrary, the Navy disavows training the creatures to use as weapons against humans. Combat Canines Humans have let slip the dogs of war for thousands of years. Larger breeds have served on the battlefield and have been trained for sentry duty by peoples ranging from the ancient Egyptians to Native Americans. Romans equipped their dogs with spiked collars, and Spanish conquistadors outfitted their attack dogs with armor when they colonized South America in the 1500s. In modern times, dogs have served more as messengers, scouts, and trackers. In the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force, police dogs have been used in anti-terrorist operations and to help protect airfields by detecting drugs. The RAF has trained police dogs since 1945, and in the picture you can see a dog named Pacino jumping through a tire as his handler looks on. It's part of some training undertaken at an RAF base in Cornwall, and the exercise is called through the keyhole. That picture was an entry in a contest sponsored by the RAF to find an image that best represented the UK armed forces. Bat. Did you know that in World War II, these flying mammals were part of a strange animal experiment to turn them into bombs? The idea was to attach tiny incendiary bombs to the critters. Then, so it was planned, they would set thousands of small fires as they flew through Japanese cities while searching for a place to roost. The bizarre idea was even given the go-ahead by President Franklin Roosevelt. But despite the U.S. Navy using some 6,000 of the critters, most of the bats were simply uncooperative. They would just fly away or fall like a rock. The Navy spent some $2 million on the project before finally admitting defeat. However, the bat bombs did manage to set ablaze both an army hangar and a general's car. Today, scientists at the Pentagon think the bat's flight mechanics could help inspire future designs of aircraft and spy robots. Spy cats. Now, if you have a cat, you know they are indeed pretty sneaky creatures to begin with. So, the CIA decided to put the feline's natural abilities to use and turn them into spies. Declassified documents have revealed that scientists plan to implant cats with microphones. This was proposed in the 1960s with the goal of monitoring Soviet enemies, called Project Acoustic Kitty. Some charts associated with the program display how the system would be attached to cats. It's pretty self-explanatory, if a bit gruesome. A wire was placed into the cat's tail, which served as the antenna. That wire traveled up the spine and connected to a microphone implanted into the cat's ear canal. A transmitter and battery was inserted into the animal's chest to power the system. The cyborg kitties were never actually deployed to the field, though, and the $13 million project was shut down. This, despite a 
memo that hailed it as, quote, a remarkable scientific achievement. 